size acceptance and size discrimination is something that people don't really think about and that's why I think it, it continues to go on. The first year seminar is a required course for all first year students. However, there are various themes and my theme was size acceptance. A first year seminar should expose people to things they've never thought about. Fat equaling bad is common knowledge, quote unquote. However, when students took the class, they realized that being a person of size wasn't about that person's personality. It was about body type, about genetics. They also learned that being heavier did not mean you were less healthy. The size of one's body does not determine that person's health. They realize that there are people who are skinny who are unhealthy. Reagan Chastain, who is a size acceptance activist, came on campus as part of the cultural event series. She uh, wanted to be a dancer, and she is a dancer, and she's constantly proving people wrong, and I think that's amazing. Her blog is fantastic. It's called Dances with Fat. She has a lot of influence with her writing, and you can tell that, good or bad, it, it does move people. This is a movement of self-esteem, among many other things. But what this movement also does is educate people who um, would otherwise discriminate against people of size. It matters to me because like, I know what these people are going through. I've gone through it myself, and I know that it makes you feel bad about yourself. I think some of the bigger problems happens when other people tell us something about our body, and when we start to identify ourselves based on what other people are saying about our bodies. If more people are understanding what's happening, the more accepting the society will be as a whole. For me personally, I am a larger person, and it really means something to me to know that it doesn't have to be something that defines me in a negative way. It can just be something that's just a part of me and, and a part of a lot of little things that make up me.